Hey, what's going on, peeps? This is Ashen Eclipse, back with another video. Um, if you guys watched my last video, uh, I'm sure you could tell that there was a little bit of, uh, I'll just say, complications. So I figured I would just make a quick video to go over the possible downsides of the support uh, ZDPS Monk build. Um, Unfortunately, even in a, even in a pretty, I would say, mostly laid-back game like Diablo 3, you're still going to run into the uh, really lovely and awesome um, Super Rage Edgelord people that are just going to bitch and complain about everything they can possibly think of because it isn't up to their standards somehow. Um, for that, um, you just kind of have to take it as a grain of salt and just more or less ignore it. Um, I can't really say that with people like that that they never give decent advice because sometimes they do um, so it's best to just mostly ignore it and then pick up what little advice and information you can get from them because um, that way you'll be able to analyze your own gameplay better and figure out what you can do better and what you're doing wrong and all that good stuff so um the I feel like the main problem I had issues with my last video is because I was trying to be a little bit too ambitious uh trying to do 90s even though I've done 90s perfectly f I've done 90s perfectly fine up before that point so um, but honestly one of the major issues I made was um, two of the DPS that I had grabbed um, the damage dealers for the party were actually only around like 1 million damage on sheet and for anything 90 and above you generally wanna you're generally gonna wanna peak want to have people with damage around like 2 million or higher on sheet and um, just in case if you guys are like what the what is he talking about sheet like well, is there like some kind of special Diablo like mythical piece of paper no that's not what I'm talking about <laughs> uh, I know the uh I know the terms can be a little bit confusing sometimes, but no, on sheet means um, that's the amount of damage they do without any kind of buffs. Like, uh, for example, if you have a like the Chatras, excuse me, um, like if you have an, an Enchantress that gives you extra attack speed then that's a buff that wouldn't uh, pertain to your on sheet damage. Your on sheet damage is literally just the raw amount of damage that your character can do without any buffs whatsoever. Um, I believe on sheet takes into account like if you have um, if you have like green or purple or whatever gems in your gear then it'll take that into account but I th I'm pretty sure that's about it um, so the, yeah that was one of my main issues that kind of um, caused the party to fall apart is um, I didn't pay attention enough to how much on she damage they had so uh, caused a lot of issues because of that Uh, excuse me again. Sorry about that. Um, honestly, there were some things that I was doing wrong with my build. Um, the 
I would say the most major thing is yes, uh, one of the primary things this build is based off of is your healing glo or your health globe healing bonus, and mine is only at 90k. Uh, technically, my health globe healing bonus should be more around like 120 or 140k, but it's just not because I haven't gotten the right gear yet. But, even so, to a point, if you have a proper party that actually can dish out um, good amounts of damage, then your health globe healing bonus more or less becomes kind of irrelevant because you're not having to sit there for five minutes trying to kill this, trying to kill one thing. Like, <laughs> so... Um, as far as that goes, uh, even though he was a douche nozzle, he did have a point about that, but, like I said, the point that I just made, um, makes it kind of to where, yeah, it's a vital part of the build, but, like I said, if you have other people in your party that are geared well enough, then it, it isn't such a huge factor that it causes you to not be able to finish greater rifts at all um i feel like the other problem too is um the thing that i noticed myself doing wrong was i was uh doing my auto attacks and then and then dashing but um i was because I was dashing to keep my extra uh, dodge chance, except um, while I was auto attacking and dodging, I was actually dodging too far away. So it was um, it was actually causing grouping issues where I didn't have uh, monsters grouped properly, and there was stragglers chasing after party members that I couldn't really do anything about. But um, to fix that, what I'm doing now is I'm auto-attacking and I'll just, I'll dodge in the same uh, the same place for the most part. And then I'll just keep pulling. Because uh, so I'll, cause I'll, uh, I'll dash and then I'll be auto-attacking. I'll do my inner sanctuary and then what I'll do is I'll just, I'll just keep pulling in the same spot until uh, one, whatever champion or elite pack is dead. Um, so I've really, minim I've really uh, minimalized uh, how much I am moving around for the most part so that I can actually keep monsters and enemies grouped properly. And that way too, my party members aren't having to run all over creation trying to kill stuff because I keep constantly pulling it out of position so um, that's the thing that I noticed myself that I was doing wrong um, but um, like I said for the most part I think the major issue is I just didn't set the party up properly for the level greater rifts that we were doing or trying to do um, the damage output was just too low so um, it just caused all sorts of issues. Uh, I apologize. Um, so, um, when you're playing the ZDPS support monk build, for the most part, what you're going to be wanting to do is, um, you're... Because don't get me wrong, in the communities, uh, like the ones I'm in, um, Greater Riftings, Seasonal G Rifts, and Seasonal Rifting, like, in the in these uh, communities, people actually do, for sure, uh, will post and they'll be like, need a ZDPS Monk or ZDPS Barb, or both, depending on what level of Greater Rifts they're trying to do. Uh, generally, once you start getting around greater, le greater rift uh, level 100, 
you want a ZDPS monk and a ZDPS barb in the same party. Um, but anything lower than a hundred people mostly just look for either a barb or a monk. Usually a monk. But um, instead of just waiting for people to post um, that they're looking for your specific build, whether it's CDPS monk or whatever your build is, um, this especially applies if you are a support build, like the one I'm running. If you're a support build, you generally want to start your own parties and then that way it gives you a lot more control over who you invite and who you don't based off of what kind of greater rifts you're trying to do. Because say I post in one of the communities that I'm looking for damage dealers. Um, if people either send me an invite request or whisper me, I can just uh, right click on them and go to their profile and check their character to see if their damage on sheet is actually up to par for what kind of greater rifts I'm trying to do. And then that way you'll, um, if you're really kind of selective like that, you'll run into a lot less issues. And um, generally if you follow that, you'll have a much smoother time doing your higher greater rifts. Um, even if it's around like 80s. Um, 80, I would say 80 to 90 level G rifts are going to want damage dealers that are doing around like a million damage on sheet. But once you start going over... Uh, no, I, I would actually say 80 to 85 you want damage dealers that have about a million damage on sheet. And then once you start getting to 90 and over 90 then you're going to start wanting damage dealers that do about 2 million damage on sheet or around there. So, um, for 90 and above, you definitely need people that are properly geared and really well optimized and uh, all that good stuff. But, um, yeah, that's, um, that's pretty much about it. Um, I feel like the guy that I had to deal with in my last video was just um, extremely irrational, but like I said, you... Even in, in a game like this, you're going to get the super hardcore elitists that are just going to, like, fucking flip a table and, you know, throw their chair through their window like Goku or some shit if you don't do shit properly. So that's just kind of the way that is. Um, for the most part, I, it really didn't phase me. Because um, I knew he was being a moron about the situation, so... And he was honestly being pretty immature about it as well because uh, he was clearly in a clan so if uh, doing super optimized higher greater rift runs was his major priority then he should have been running with his clan instead of uh, trying to run with randoms because like, like I said I've done 90s with randoms without any issues but generally if you want to do 90 or higher then it's best to like find uh, a dedicated clan that is um, more geared toward doing the late game sort of th stuff like uh, like all the uh, higher greater rift grinding and um, uh, all that good stuff so um, yeah that's pretty much all I wanted to explain. Um, just kind of give you guys some insight on what happened and uh, how to um, how to more or less kind of uh, cover your own back when you're playing a support build, especially, and uh, how to make it easier on yourself as well as um, some things to look at as far as your gameplay goes so hopefully this video was uh, informative and hopefully it will actually help you guys out at um, improving your point of view toward the game when it comes to end game content 
and um, yeah, hope everyone's been having a good week, uh, good days at work, or whatever the case may be. Uh, generally, uh, just having happy times, you know, because that's uh, um, it's kind of what I strive for personally, is to try to be a happy person, even when I run into people that uh, don't necessarily want me to be so um, but yeah that's all for this video guys um, and I will see you in the next video later